good morning students in the last class we have started discussing the answers of last pre board exam we have discussed the first eight questions let us move to ninth question that is how do trites get expressed how do trites get expressed what is trite the outward expressed feature of a character outward expressed or exhibited feature of a character is known as trait for every trait for every trait some genetic information is needed every trait is majorly decided by a particular protein so if the protein is synthesized correctly then finally by depending on this correct protein correct structured protein correct quantity of protein correct structured protein and correct quantity of protein finally makes the trait get expressed correctly this is how traits get expressed but how does the protein get synthesized for protein synthesis for protein synthesis some information is needed and this information is provided by the dna sequence a segment of dna that provides the information for the synthesis of a protein is called a gene if this gene is having correct sequence not with any errors or not with much variations then the protein that is synthesized also will be in correct structure and it may be getting synthesized in correct quantity once the protein is synthesized with the correct structure and in the right quantity then automatically finally the trait gets expressed correctly so gene is a segment of dna that provides information for the synthesis of a protein which is responsible for the expression of a trait so protein is responsible for the expression of a trait and protein synthesis is dependent on correct sequence information of the gene so if the gene is without any variations then protein gets synthesized normally and trait gets expressed correctly next 10th question draw the labeled diagram of germination of pollen tube on stigma germination of pollen tube 
and stigma. Regarding this, you have to draw the diagram that is given from figure 8.8 .8 of page number 135 of your science textbook. Science textbook. But anyhow, in a simplified way, how can you draw? We all know a pistol will have bottom swollen ovary and middle elongated stale and top sticky stigma. So pollen grains are going to land on the sticky stigma like this and not all pollen grains but some of them will get germinated that means they form a tube like structure like this And inside this tube like structure, the male gametes will travel. Where do these male gametes finally reach? They reach the ovule. Inside the ovule, inside each ovule, there are totally eight cells, sorry, seven cells with eight nuclei and this ovule, this structure is protected by The main diagram is this one. This is pollen grain. And this is stigma. So on the stigma, pollen grain is landed. Then pollen tube is formed. Pollen tube. Then inside this there are male gametes this is the ovule this is these are egg cells this is polar nuclei And these are antipodals. Right. So this is what you need to draw the diagram. With for the proper label diagram, you will get three marks. Next question is very important question for five marks. What are the components of the transport system in humans? And what are the functions of these components? I think most of you have followed some other guide or some other source of content. And you have forgotten what I have explained. See, your science papers are not going to be evaluated by the people, those who are writing 
the commercial guides or other books they are going to be evaluated by the same subject teachers from all cbse schools so try i try to just deliberately or seriously give the information as per your ncert textbook and you have to follow that one instead of that casually listening to my class and seriously preparing from some guide like thing is not going to fetch anything to you what are the components of the transport system in humans transport system in humans has three components there are three components what are they number 1 a pumping organ pumping organ this is the first component number 2 a network of tubes number 3 a system to repair just check your papers how many of you have exactly written these three components a pumping organ that is heart four chambered heart network of tubes which majorly consists of arteries and veins arteries and veins and system to repair majorly consists of platelets circulating platelets in the blood these are the three components of transportation system what is the role of pumping organ that is heart what does it carry out heart it has got four chambers top to atria and bottom to ventricles see the top two atria they simultaneously relax and simultaneously contract bottom two ventricles they simultaneously relax and they simultaneously contract atria they receive the blood ventricles they pump the blood atria receive the blood receive the blood and ventricles pump out the blood top to atria left and right left atrium receives oxygenated blood and right atrium receives deoxygenated blood while receiving both the atria are in relaxed condition and left ventricle it pumps out 
the oxygenated blood and right ventricle it pumps out deoxygenated blood okay as atria are relaxed they receive the blood once after they receive the blood that blood will be pushed down to ventricles while receiving the blood from the atria the ventricles also are in relaxed condition soon after the ventricles receive the blood the atrio ventricular valves get closed then the ventricles start contracting and they pump out the blood from left ventricle the oxygenated blood moves to body tissues through aorta followed by the arteries then finally into arterioles through right ventricle the deoxygenated blood moves to lungs in order to get oxygenated through pulmonary artery followed by veins followed by finally capillaries and the capillaries that supply the oxygenated blood to the body tissues are known as arterioles the capillaries that supply the blood that supply the deoxygenated blood to the lungs in order to get oxygenated are called arterioles only right so arteries and veins they are present in the middle at the heart aorta and pulmonary artery are there at the body tissues arterioles at the lungs arterioles are there while supplying the blood while receiving the blood from body tissues venules the capillaries that receive the blood are called venules and these venules they form the veins and veins finally they form vena cava so vena cava it supplies the blood to the heart it I mean it carries back the deoxygenated blood to the heart not supplies vena cava they carry the deoxygenated blood to the heart and from lungs pulmonary vein it carries the oxygenated blood to the heart this is how the network of tubes are functioning at any place in these tubes due to any injury or some other thing if any particular blood vessel gets damaged then a system to repair is going to come and operate platelets in the blood they keep circulating throughout the circulation these platelets they help to plug the leaks that are caused by the injuries so that the blood flow will be restored and blood pressure will be maintained so that all the organs will receive the oxygenated blood this is what you have to write okay last question how are the modes of the reproduction different in unicellular and multicellular organisms as the name indicates unicellular means single celled organisms single celled as the name indicates multicellular means the organism with many cells many cells having organisms here in unicellular organisms for reproduction there are no specialized cells no specialized cells in multicellular organism 
even if it is of lower level multicellular organism specialized cells are there for reproduction since unicellular organisms are having only one cell as their complete body mostly mostly reproduction is carried out by asexual mode asexual mostly whereas in multicellular organisms among primitive multicellular organisms asexual and sexual both are observed as per the situational demand primitive multicellular organism in complex multicellular organisms sexual reproduction sexual reproduction is the mostly observed one in single celled organism the asexual mode that it is observed mostly is carried out by fission method mostly by fission method right here in multicellular organism no fission there is no fission in the case of asexual mode then what type of asexual modes fragmentation regeneration vegetative propagation spore formation etc they are carried out but no fission right and faster the mode of reproduction is faster is slow and it is simpler it is complex generally no gametes are involved in complex organisms in higher organisms gametes are present these many things are there which you need to learn okay thank you